guys, my girlfriend bought me these glass straws and they are literally the poo. Like, literally the poo. It Number one, it's good for the environment. Number two, you your coffee, if it's cold, it stays cold because these glass straws kind of like help maintain the temperature. Um, and they're just so like cute. It just takes forever for them to dry. Like overnight, you could still see some like water in there, but this one's dry. freaking sweet um so what i do is i add this into my coffee um but i like it sweet just not too sweet so sometimes i have to add almond milk to like make it less sweet but when you do that then the coffee is not as strong so yeah that's just my little bit of about my coffee so i usually take the avocado and i use it as like a spread or like a like a spread for another day another coffee another breakfast sandwich haven't been doing well lately and i think it's the water um in my apartment but anyways like i mentioned in vlog number one but um i'm gonna get ready to go to the museum it's so gloomy in la today and it was hard for me to get ready and like want to get out of the house but i was actually supposed to go to the museum last week but i didn't go and i flaked so i must go today I think it was raining earlier and I didn't even notice, but it's not raining anymore. Okay, um, so this is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing, like a sweater that I'm sweating in already, leather leggings, some boots, and a purse. Don't think I'm gonna bring my camera with me. Um, hopefully my phone doesn't act up. My phone's been, basically there's like way too many photos um, on my phone and it syncs regularly. So there's like 6,000 photos on my phone. Um, so every time I try to record with my phone, it cuts off. So um, hopefully it doesn't cut off. I will see you guys later.
on Netflix and I would say the first 15 minutes is already so good. Yeah, and Bad Bunny is in this movie. Like, what? Bad Bunny, what's that guy's name? Brad Pitt, and then the characters Lemon and Tangerine are so funny. But anyways, if you guys haven't watched it, first 15 minutes are worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep watching it. Hey guys, I just finished watching Bullet Train and eating dinner. Bullet Train was so freaking good on Netflix. I wanted to watch that movie when it was at theaters, but I didn't get a chance to, but it was like everything that I like in a movie. It was action-packed, it was funny, no love story, which is good. I hate it when they throw in a love story for no reason, um, but it was really good. If you guys haven't watched it, definitely watch it. But I wanted to come on here and kind of share with you guys what I thought about mocha. And by the way, I'm a little bit red because I had a glass of wine with my dinner. Yeah, I... I get Asian glow very, very, very easily. So yeah. But anyways, there were two locations literally like 0.7 miles away from each other. The first one that I went to was in Arts District, downtown LA. That one had all of the female artists. So it had um, Madani, Baca, and also Bradley, which was great. And then the second location on Grand, which is in like downtown LA, that one had Henry Taylor. So I've been to many, many museums, and for some reason, this trip just really, really, like, moved me. I think it was because I was alone, and usually when you're with someone who, you know, you just, somebody who, I don't know, when you're usually with someone, like, I, when I'm with someone, I feel rushed. I feel like I can't really read everything, soak it in, get my feels, like, all of that, so I decided to go by myself. And it was probably the best thing ever. I just, I got really emotional, guys. Like, let me tell you guys, like, history, like, historical art is beautiful to me, right? Like, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Like, I don't know what else to say about it. But contemporary art, it just, like, hits different. And I'm not saying it hits better. It just hits different. Like, some of you guys can be like, that doesn't mean the same thing. <laughs> I mean, that does mean the same thing, no, but hits different as in, like, contemporary art is, like, the last 50 to 60 years, right? Don't quote me, maybe 70, but it's more, like, recent and modern, right? But historical art is, like, takes place, like, you know, back in history, so when you read the excerpts of what these artists are trying to convey or what was going through in the world or what was happening in the world at that time, you kind of just feel like, wow, like, the news covers like they co they cover the story but you don't really talk to people who are like going through it and like not only are they going through it they're going through like they're conveying that feeling through art and i feel like that's what really like made me feel like emotional it's like you know so many things going on in the world and they're feeling a certain type of way and they put that in art, you know? And I guess it does make sense. Like music is a type of art, like movies, like cinema is a type of art. Like if you've ever heard a good song that made you feel emotional, like that's good art. Or have you ever, or if you've ever watched a movie made you cry, like that's good art too. Um, and I think with contemporary art, because it's so recent, like I can, kind of not relate but think about wow this all happened recently and made me think like things that are going around on in the world right now are making people feel a certain type of way and there's people out there who are conveying those feelings through art and i just feel like that is such a beautiful thing and i'm not trying to be corny or anything but it's just different it's i don't know it was nice it was nice to be there alone and soak it up like I got really emotional and teared up just like looking at some of those things and watching the short films. Um, Garrett Bradley, she had her exhibit mostly consisted of like videos that she made and they were just about social injustice and yeah, it was just, it was a good experience. And Henry Taylor, so if you guys don't know, I love hip hop. Like I grew up on hip hop. I did my when I was in fifth grade, I did my current event. Tupac died. Like, 
I've been a hip hop head my whole life. And I've never heard of Henry Taylor, but he is an urban artist and he he still um, does artwork today. And you know, he used to live in Chinatown and then he like made friends with people on Skid Row and like his artwork just kind of reflects the things that, you know, those people go through on the daily. Um, he also does murals. He also did a mural on um, Tookie Williams, the Crip um, that got death row. And so it's like, again, these are all things that didn't happen. I mean, it, it happened like maybe 20, 20 years ago, but this has all been things that happened to us recently or happened in society recently. So it's really cool to see people like portray that through art. And yeah, it was just a really good trip, like a really good solo trip. I've gone to museums alone before, um, but this one, remember I was saying like, oh my God, it's so gloomy. Like, I don't want to go, but it really worked out. So anyways, if you guys are in the LA area or from the LA area, you guys should definitely check it out. Um, it's free on certain days and it's just great. There weren't, there wasn't a lot of footage from the Henry Taylor one because it was packed. Like there were a lot of people in there, but oh yeah. And there was, you guys are going to see the exhibit with the Black Panthers. That is dope. Because like think about how fashion repeats itself. Like those leather blazers that um, those mannequins are wearing. It's like those are in right now. And also um, there was a, old school like 49ers jersey that was freaking dope there was like like an old school thick gold chain like a rope chain that was cool henry taylor did, did a piece on tupac that was dope as well yeah it was just a really good day so i'm gonna close the vlog out here um tomorrow's monday won't be as exciting for me at least um but i will I, I, but i will talk to you guys tomorrow